Are you feeling stuck and frustrated because you haven't been able to realize an important goal of yours? I'm Kathleen Rafter. I help people to become calm, clear, and confident so they can develop vibrant lives of inner peace. I'm a spiritual life coach and EFT practitioner. So if you haven't been able to realize that goal, it's because you have laid negativity in the way of thoughts, negative thoughts, and negative emotions on top of your goal. And don't feel badly. It happens to everybody. The thing to do is I'm going to introduce you to a very effective, easy method called the 5 plus 1 method. And through this, you'll be using EFT to overcome those negative limiting beliefs that have been holding you back. So I learned about this method from David Dr. David Feinstein, who is a pillar in the EFT community. When I first got my EFT certification, I was afraid to go out and build my business. And I stayed for months not doing anything until I learned this process. And it's been very helpful for me personally, for my family, and for my clients. In fact, I have a client who wanted to join the local senior master swim team in her area and she had tried out but she was too slow they wouldn't allow her on the team and so we went through and did this practice and then when she tried out again she was the fastest person to try out so of course she made the team so the first step to this method is to form a formulation using I am followed by whatever your goal is. So let's use my building the business as an example. I am building a successful business. So formulate your affirmation. And when you do that, it's powerful to say it out loud. What's going to happen is that limiting beliefs, the negative thoughts and emotions are going to start coming in. So go through and list those. These are what we're going to tap on. And don't leave any out. Whatever comes to mind, just go through and write them down. And we're going to use the standard EFT method. EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Techniques. There's more than one technique. There are actually 49 of them. Sometimes it's called tapping. But we're going to just use the standard that most practitioners use. And I'm just going to walk you through the points. And the first one is on the top of the head. The second is the inside of the eyebrow where it meets the bridge of your nose. Then the outside of your eye, under your eye, under your nose and above your upper lip, below your lower lip and above your chin, in that divot area right there. And then this next point, if you find the notch just below your throat and go down about an inch and an inch and a half on either side, you'll find two bony ridges there. Sometimes they're pretty sore. And I use my third finger and thumb to tap on those, or you can use the palm of your hand. And then the last point is about four inches below your underarm. And you can tap with one hand or the other, both at the same time. It's going to work any way you do it. And I generally tap with my right hand because I'm right-handed. So look at that list that you've written out and pick the one that has the most charge, the one that gives you the most fear, the one that you have the most energy on. And again, I'll use my experience as an example. So I was afraid of being rejected. So I'm afraid of being rejected. Just go through and tap on the points. I'm afraid of rejection. I'm afraid of rejection. I'm afraid I'll be rejected. I'm afraid of rejection. I'm afraid to step out. I'm afraid of being rejected. I'm afraid of being rejected. I'm afraid of rejection. So as you go through each one of these, just evaluate. 
Do I have any more energy on it? Is it covered? Lots of times after just doing one round of tapping, I will have covered it. Sometimes for something that's really, that I have a real lot of charge on, I might have to tap three different rounds, but I've never tapped more than three rounds. And when you're tapping, you may find another limiting belief comes up. Go through and tap. And on those, just continue to tap on the one that gives you the most charge. If you do that, lots of times the others will lose their charge and you won't have to do as much tapping. But don't leave anything on the table. You want to go through and cover everything because these are the emotions, the thoughts that have been keeping you from realizing your goal. And then the second step is to go through and to affirm. Once you've covered all those limiting beliefs, it's actually the third step. But just go through and affirm. In my example, I am building a successful business. 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 Really put some emotion into that, some conviction. I am building a successful business. 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 Now, if you find any limiting beliefs come up, any new ones, just write them down and make sure you tap on those as well. Clear as much as you can until you go on to the next step, which is going to be to visualize while you're tapping. So with the affirmations, I probably will do about two rounds of that before I feel that it's really anchored into my body. And with the visualization, I'll probably do about three rounds. So just go through and don't worry. If you're not a real visual person, just feel and just listen to what you may hear. I'm not very visual my, myself. I'm much more feeling and I'm much more of an auditory, auditory type person. But just go through and imagine what it'll be like when you reach that goal. What will you see? What will you feel? What will you hear? Perhaps you'll be out to, to dinner celebrating. What will you smell? Wonderful food there in the restaurant. What will you taste as your dish comes and you try it? The clinking of glasses as you celebrate. And I usually go through and do this for three rounds. And again, if any limiting beliefs, any fearful emotions or thoughts come up, just write them down and tap. You don't want to leave anything, you don't want to leave anything to chance. These are the things that have been holding you back from reaching your goal. So when you do this, you can continue to affirm and to tap on your visualis while visualizing until you feel like you've got about 80% covered. And when you do, that's when you can take that plus one. We've gone over five steps plus one. The plus one is getting into action. And you'll be able to get into action once you feel that you have 80% believability that you can go through and go through and realize this goal. So just to summarize, we've talked about the fact that when you have a very important goal, the reason why you haven't been able to, to realize it, to manifest it yet, is because of negative thoughts and negative feelings. And I introduced you to the 5 plus 1 method using tapping with the traditional affirmations and visualizations so that you can go through and turbocharge your affirmation, your visualization to overcome the limiting thoughts, the limiting beliefs that have been holding you back. So use this 5 plus 1 method. Go through and state your affirmation. Write down those limiting beliefs. 
make sure you tap on each one that comes along. Tap while affirming, while reciting your affirmation, and then while visualizing. And then, once you're sure that you've gotten through all your limiting beliefs, all those negative thoughts and emotions, then once you feel about 80% sure that you can make this happen, you can go out and act. Put your goal into action. Or act so that you can bring your goal into manifestation. So, if you like this video, you'll probably like the free ebook that I've created too. It's five steps to create inner peace and calm your soul. In fact, the link is going to be just right below this video. So, practice the 5 plus 1 method. Leave a comment as to how it's worked for you. Take advantage of the free ebook, and I'll see you next week.